When you think of space exploration, you may think of companies like NASA, and modern day equipment like rockets and space stations. However, there's various scriptures and books that detail our ancient ancestors possessing knowledge of the stars. This has caused some interesting conversations to be put forward, with some suggesting the idea that our ancestors may have had more knowledge of the stars, celestial bodies in the universe than we previously thought. How then were they able to do this? Back in those days, they didn't possess the technology or equipment we have today. Drawings and writings may contradict this, and although this sounds outlandish, these theories are based on evidence that we've managed to discover in recent years. Perhaps one of the most interesting discoveries comes from that of the ancient Mayan civilization. In the 7th century AD, Pakul the Great was the ruler of this time. During his time, he oversaw some of the most impressive sites at Palenque. During this era, the civilization was able to build things that many would say wasn't possible for that age. These people built complex streams that would transport them fresh water. However, one image of the ruler has caused much speculation among certain groups. The image in question depicts the king descending into the Mayan underworld. All around the carving, we can see objects that are said to represent celestial objects. This includes Venus, the Sun and the Moon. Some individuals have suggested that what this shows is the ancient Mayan civilization working on their most recent invention, and that structure has something to do with space travel. Our ancestors were obsessed with space. All over the world, these ancient civilizations found ways to observe the cosmos. Why were they interested in space? And what do these carvings show us? As of right now, archaeologists have said the carving isn't important, and doesn't have anything to do with space. But others disagree saying that the Maya people were close to developing something that may have taken them to the stars. This is of course hypothetical, but in recent years researchers have been able to find writings that prove ancient man was interested in the cosmos. This discovery was made in 1961 in Romania. An engineer discovered a strange looking manuscript while looking through the ancient pages, something caught the researchers' attention. It turns out the papers were detailing concepts about rocketry, and this existed in a time when these types of things weren't meant to be around. The individual who worked in these designs was a man by the name of Comrade Haas, and he lived between 1509 and 1576. Interestingly, although he was able to design these incredible concepts of rocketry, not much is known about his life. But due to the findings by the engineer, it's caused scholars and researchers to become much more interested in this man. One of the first things the researchers noticed was that these drawings were very similar to multi-stage rockets. This is complex rocketry and is something that consists of two or more engines that are placed on top of each other. This is normally used in rockets that need to reach high altitude. So the question here then is why was someone hundreds of years ago trying to create a multi-stage rocket? It turns out that Mr. Comrade House was a talented man. The manuscript that was discovered is over 450 pages, and it hints at Comrade House being a master engineer and someone who was looked upon during this era. The manuscript also details artillery and rocket technology. Interestingly, the invention House was working on can be found in the manuscript. Comrade House was taken on by the military at an unknown time and some have theorised this was because at the time he would have been one of the most impressive engineers around. Having a good understanding of rocketry in a time when many people wouldn't have understood what it was. It's incredible that someone during this time was even able to come up with these ideas, and researchers have even said he is the first person to put into writing the concepts of multi-stage rockets. Further saying that his concepts were put to the test and they did in fact work. Incredibly, his work doesn't stop there. He went on to design in detail spacecrafts, delta fins, bell nozzles, and even liquid fuel. Being one of the first people to create complex things like this, it begs the question of where he's getting these ideas from. It's interesting to think in this one manuscript, it details a man being able to grasp the concepts of rocketry. It makes you wonder how many more documents are out there that talk about the secrets of the past. Found among the dense vegetation are hidden wells of complex structures and more hidden artifacts and civilizations than anywhere else in the world. 
This means that millions of undiscovered strange artifacts have been lost to history or throughout the world's dense jungles. However, over the years a number of these have been discovered by researchers. The Olmec are known as the first major civilization in Mexico. They appeared around 1600 BCE. They were actually the first people who figured out how to turn latex of the rubber tree into something that can be easily shaped. The Olmec culture has been a huge influence on many later civilizations. For example, the Maya. This society was known for their massive stone heads they carved from basalt, a volcanic rock. There are not many things that have been written about the Olmec, but from the archaeological evidence we have today it seems they were not very economically confined. The Olmec were defined by their art style. They were able to build with various materials such as clay, basalt, jade and even greenstone. Most of their art was made out of green coloured materials, so much of the art found is only based on nature. The best pieces of art they've left behind are those colossal massive heads. There are 17 massive stones that represent humans. Made out of large boulders, all of these heads date back to around 900 BCE. The heads that have been found are said to portray Olmec men, all of them having distinct features of their civilization. Not a single head is the same as another. Each of the heads has their own unique headdress representing specific individuals. It's believed the heads are representing the portraits of powerful individuals of the Olmec civilization, but the methods and logic behind how they were transported and carved stays a mystery. Additionally, researchers over the years have found several of these large carved heads, each one measuring roughly to be 3 meters in height, 3 meters in width and more than 40,000 pounds in weight. Interestingly, it appears that the stone heads are impossible to date, and can only be measured by looking at the time in which the large stones were buried to predict the time of their creation. The accepted information from researchers is that the heads were buried during 900 BC, but could predate this time by more than several hundred years in creation. Despite the lack of scientific proof as to the age, researchers have characterized the heads as having come from the pre-classic period of the Mesoamerican chronology, dating somewhere close to 1500 to 1000 BC. Every year researchers manage to discover new things about our past. Back in 2018, there appeared to be a discovery that in all pyramids from around the world, including Bosnian pyramid structures and ancient Mayan temple structures, there were large bodies of water discovered in chambers that ran beneath the pyramids and tunnels that could have stretched for over 10 miles. Interestingly enough, when researchers began looking at the pyramids at Giza, there appeared to be a massive underground water tunnel network that ran underneath the Giza plateau, and that has long since been dried out. This led researchers to look more into what was believed to be a naturally formed water chambers, and the roles they could have played in the construction of the large pyramids and other pyramid structures. They found that although water beneath structures usually plays a large role in the instability of the base of the structure, it appeared as if the network of tunnels and water chambers found in pyramids from all over the world appeared to not threaten the stability of the pyramid. This led researchers to believe the tunnels must have been accounted for in the construction of the pyramid, or possibly added after construction with the pyramid stability in mind. Still to this day, Egyptologists and researchers are completely unaware as to what the role of these underwater chambers helped to play in the construction of the pyramids and why they seem to be so important to the structures overall. Currently, the only working theory is the introduction of a hydromechanical purpose, or that of added underground pressure to a certain air of the structure. What's interesting is that these discoveries and structures are only a small portion of what's managed to survive. Researchers have come forward and said that 98% of our past has vanished from our planet, so it's unlikely we'll know the details of our ancient past. So my question to you guys is what do you make of these ancient carvings and discoveries? And do you think our ancestors were more technologically advanced than previously thought? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.